We do begin at five with a travel headache for passengers out of Denver International Airport. Buses had to be brought in to help passengers get from security to the terminals. The airport blaming technical issues with its train for the big crowds. We started hearing from frustrated passengers earlier this morning. Good evening, I'm Brian Flores. And I'm Karen Lee. Thanks so much for being with us. Michael has the night off. Kelly Worthman has been at the airport much of the day today talking with all those passengers. And Kelly, the question is, is the situation getting better now? You know, guys, it's improved a bit since we saw those really large crowds earlier today. And, you know, and I can't help but think that normally when we're here at the airport and we're talking about travel woes, we're typically showing you those really long security lines. And that's when this area, the bridge to security, becomes one of the better kept secrets. Well, today it was a necessary route for passengers. A train is arriving. Not quite. Trains at Denver International Airport are on the struggle bus. So we've seen uh, some mechanical issues. Tuesday morning, the airport's train system all but shut down, leaving platforms crowded with passengers eager to get to their gates. Living in Denver, using this airport a bunch, I know the Sky Bridge is like the secondary side street. Airport staff urged travelers to use the Sky Bridge to walk to the A concourse, and buses would help get people to and from the distant B and C concourses. While the trains are running, they're running at a very limited capacity, which is why we're seeing some of those backups on the platforms. While some frequent flyers don't mind the long walk. We have these amazing uh, belts, and I'll tell you this, I've been to uh, so many airports in the United States, this is actually the easiest. For others, it's not so easy. I'm handicapped, and I had to walk from the other side of the airport, which I didn't know, I've never been here, and it's, you know, it's quite large, so it's taken me about an hour to get across here, and I didn't know until I got up to the trains that there was anything even wrong. Refusing to detail what exactly the technical mechanical issues are, airport officials say train delays will likely last into Wednesday morning. So we're encouraging passengers to get here extra early. We normally say two hours before your boarding time. Um, now we're saying add 30 minutes to that. You are delaying the departure of this train. Well, it's aggravating, but I mean, you know, you got to kind of take everything with a grain of salt. You know, some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. Yeah, I think a lot of passengers today feeling like they were the bug. And it was just last month that your reporter, Karen Morfitt, actually sat down with DIA CEO Phil Washington and asked him about the backup plans for train issues, kind of like what we're seeing here today. And he said, you know, there is a possibility of building a bridge from the A concourse to B and then to C. But, of course, that is not going to be a cheap solution, but it is something that they're talking about. Reporting live at the airport, I'm Kelly Worthman, covering Colorado First. Pretty good spirits out there despite all those troubles. All right, Kelly, thank you.